97.9 in the box is the man had a morning show in the building with Bill. Bill the vote. Yeah. 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 You know. Wake up. Bring the energy. You know, so funny looking at y'all. I, I feel like we all grew together. That's right. You That's know what right. I'm saying? That's right. But be honest. Did you really think you was going to still be here after all this time? Still doing this. Still Hell looking yeah, good. Man. Still looking young. Yeah, still vibing. Yeah, still able to move Listen, on the we stage. We knew we was going to be on the top of the game ever since we was like two years old. Right. <laughs> nah, man. But uh, honestly, we just love what we do. Yeah. And we hope for the best. But to know that we have joints like um, If It Isn't Love. Yeah. You know, as far as the other group is concerned. Yeah. And, uh, mm-hmm. Joints like Poison, as far as Velvet DeVoe is concerned, man, that still get played, not only in the 40 and over club. Yeah, but the but young, you, yeah. yeah, in the 16 and yeah. over spot, you know, they, they that's getting rotation, man. We would have never thought that we would have timeless classics, you know. We we, we looked at people like Earth, Wind and & Fire yeah. and uh, the OJs, um, you know, groups like that. And the list goes on and on and on, of course, you know, the, the Jacksons and... You hear those songs and it's like, man, you know, one of these days, hopefully we'll have uh, joints like that. And fast forward to, you know, 30 plus years in the game, man, we got joints like that. You and, know you, and you're a legend. You yes. happen to be living legends. Do you ever look at yourself in the mirror and say, wow, I can't believe it. This, uh, The guys that you just naming, you guys get thrown in there now. Right. You, you're yeah. a part of that legacy now. Yeah. You yeah. know, you got the young cats coming up. Man, we want to be like Bell Biv DeVoe. We want to be like New Edition. Yeah. That's right. what they say when they see y'all now. Right. Wow. That's crazy, man, because uh, <laughs> it's like, really, you can't plan that. I mean, as far as our ideas, man, we just want to get on stage, have the girls scream, make a little money, and, um, you know, I guess the universe had bigger plans for us, but we love it. I mean, we compared, before we had our own records, we performed Cool in the Gang songs, right. the Jacksons, Temptations, Four Tops, whatever we could do. To get on. To get on, and yep. we just wanted, you know... We wanted to be like those groups. And we used to say, like, at some, because they compared us so much to the Jacksons when we first came out because of Ralph's voice. Mm-hmm. And then it was a time when we said, man, I can't wait till we get to the point where they're comparing other artists to, to us. To us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it just happened. So, hey. What do you think makes, why, why were y'all special? Man, because you, you can identify with any member in the group, no matter who you was. You know, if whatever type of cat you was, we had that personality. Right. And and the thing is, when we was coming through, pop locking was kind of slick. So for an R&B group to be doing new addition steps and Ralph and, you know, Rick and Bob and Ron, you know, pop locking, that was almost like hip hop connection right well, out no the doubt. gate. Yeah. And then we kept basketball with us. That's like super street ball. Mm-hmm. And then whenever you saw us, we was with girls. So you knew we, we like girls. <laughs> and, and as a kid, there's only three or four things that mean something to you. Getting girls, playing ball, ball dancing, ball. and yeah. some money. That's right. From that point on, we've been riding. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> I am not mad at it, man. Like I said, when I see y'all, it's just amazing. And it's amazing to know that you are those guys right. now. And I feel like we all of the same generation. Yeah. And here I am of the generation, yeah. and y'all get looked up like the temptation. It's kind of exciting for me, you know. And then the other thing you were saying, too, I think it's also cool, is you guys were loved by not just the girls, but the, but the dudes too. thought y'all was cool cats, yeah, too. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's another hard balance. Either the that's women love the guys group, hate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's one or the group. other. You don't yeah. get both most of the time. No, and man. you guys were able to balance that. Yeah. So it looked like somebody strategically orchestrated all this for you guys. He, but you to know, a certain well, extent, yeah, yeah, we, I think, we're still I think living the, that life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the ladies, you know, I think it was day one, right? Right. And the fellas too, because like Mike said, they kind of identified to a certain extent with somebody in the crew. But initially, you know, the audience was probably 80% ladies. And then you True. had 20% of them fellas in the back with right. their foot on right, the wall. Right. Like, it's yo, they stages. taking all the ladies. But <laughs> but I see why they taking all the ladies. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, their presentation and everything is on point. And fast forward, man, like, even at the concerts, the fellas are the ones in the aisles doing the routine. Especially and, now. Yeah. You know, we all hate you when we're young. Yeah. I got you. My girlfriend right. liked you. I got to I gotta hate you right. a little bit. But, right. you know, when she ain't around, <laughs> you know, yeah, I think exactly we all do that. I think we know, all did that. Yeah. And Ron made a good point. You know the crazy thing, too, bro? It's backstage. You know how a girl, what you do, you like, baby, get this picture of me and, you know, Ricky. That's my yeah. favorite. No, nah, baby, hold this, hold this. Get this picture with me and the fella. <laughs> 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 told us, like, 
night. It's yeah. totally yeah. different. <laughs> she got to wait to go second. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? How's the? How's that transition? Because you know, and it's not. A, it's not. It's they admire you. Like I said, a lot of us grew up watching you guys. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that's a big part of it. How's it? I think it, at this point, you know, you get to a point of your career where you say, "Man." I've done it all. You gener- you really have done it all. You got the movie behind you now. Usually you're doing that. You guys are in your 60s and 70s. Right, right. You know, you, you look at you guys not trying to be funny. Y'all still look like y'all in your 30s. You know hey, what I'm saying? Girl. So what is left for Bell Biv DeVoe? What is left for New Edition to do to achieve? You got platinum records. You, you sold records. You made money. You got a movie. I think as far as... Um just the industry part of it goes, it's it's just more of that because, you know, when you're in this business, you can just, you never get enough. Mm-hmm. You never get enough of performing, making records and hearing the crowd scream. So we will continue that until the wheels fall off. But um, they say you keep what you have by giving it away. So we just want right. to give it away. We want to share our experience with exactly. you and anyone else that's trying to come up in this business, whether they're a solo artist or a group and, you know, we can give them advice as far as staying together and, you know, right. some business sense and all yeah. that stuff. We just really want to share our experience with you. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the same thing, man. We are truly blessed and we have a lot of influence and power and resources and to be able to use that. Like my mother always say, you are blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. And later on in life, um, sometimes you, well, well, sometimes you don't realize that until a little later on in life because you just on your hustle game or what have you. So that's what it's all about for us now, using our resources, using our influence and power to be able to affect change and help others. You know, well, y'all are doing that too. You came back, you came to Houston because you're giving out the twenty thousand dollars to HISD. Yeah, yeah. And these are things that you yeah, have, man. Stuff that y'all have to do. You know, what I'm saying? y'all mm-hmm. can take the riches and the fame and just like, ah, oh, I'm going right. home, but you still want to participate and give right. back. Why? Well, when we saw it, we we friends, you know, the mm-hmm. DJs, y'all are friends, Terry, Candy, you know, it's it's friends, and um, we didn't want to wait for the for the live aid and the, you <laughs> yeah, know that right. call. Yeah. We looked at it like we just go in our hood, go in mm-hmm. our we, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. we go in our hood. We make them bring the stuff in Boston, and you know, me, Ron, Rick, and Brooke, and we like, look, we'll get the the boxes for the clothes. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take some money. We're gonna raise some money. And the people that are here with us from Boston, the city officials, it's eight of us. We was like, you know what? We ain't going to do the FedEx. We ain't going to do the UPS. We're going to do the person to person. Mm-hmm. So we just got on the plane and said, look, we're going to see where it's going yeah. so that they can see who it's coming from. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you giving the addicts middle HISD. Like yeah. yeah. Also, it's cool to see that Brooke is still with y'all. Oh, yeah. yeah. After all these years, Man. you've seen him in the special. You always wonder, like, who's the guy that got him where they are? Yeah. And then you always see the story, that guy ain't there no more. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. How has he managed to, like, y'all ain't going nowhere without me. When you see them, you see me. <laughs> that sound like him. <laughs> no, but what you saw in the movie is kind of the transition of how things have been going. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we were working together years before we even got a record deal. So we became friends. And of course, you know, Ronnie's family right. with that. And, um, you know, there's, there were certain times when we bumped heads and, you know, we went in di- different directions, but God brought us back together. And you realize that in this business, there's not too many people that you can count on that have your back, whether hmm. they're getting paid or not. That's right. Mm-hmm. You know, when times are good and times are bad, that always have your back no matter what. And someone that makes sure that we're right on stage and make sure that our business is being taken care of, who we'll pick out things that we can't see, and gives it to us raw, you know, when we're falling off. So, and Brooke is that dude. Yeah. When y'all were younger, of course, and in the movie you saw too, there would be moments where, like you said, y'all might not get along, you might not like each other. 30 years later, how are y'all able to deal with those kind of issues now? Or is it not even the same? It's, you know, y'all some grown man, <laughs> B.I., as they say, you know, and it does, those kind of things don't even happen anymore. Oh, or do they happen? And y'all like, I'm mad at you tonight. Then y'all go, no, 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 no. Y'all just you come off the stage and still walk away from each other. It's so. crazy to right. say that after all these years, we, you know. Still fight. I, I wish we, I wish I could say we don't bump heads from time to time. But you know what is crazy? Even when you're doing your best, even when you're at your best, even when you have good intentions, you somehow still bump heads. I mean, mm. we all, you know, everyone has families now, wives, and, you know, the motives change, you know, the, the business, the timings, you know, 
reasons change why people are doing things. And mm. so sometimes those things, you know, they clash with each other. Like brotherhood. You yeah. Know, bump with brothers <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, it's love. We love each other just like I love my real brothers. Like the man had How y'all feel like when, you know, after the movie came out, you know, you got young kids and young millennials that may have not knew about new edition. Yeah. After the movie came out, you would go to the clubs. <laughs> we go to the clubs where the turn up is, man, man, drop that if it isn't love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's like it changed the, the whole, we like yeah. happy now. We like, oh, we can drop all the new edition <laughs> right. top track. The crazy thing, my son's like eight. And he's a fan of the show Empire. He likes Hakeem. Y'all were mm -hmm. trying to rap with him. So I right, said, man, let's watch New Edition Story. Now, nah, daddy, I said, Hakeem. And so he sat there <laughs> and watched the whole six hours, okay. goes back home with his mom. He goes and looks up all the New Edition videos for the wow. 25th anniversary. That's wow. that video I tagged you. And right. he like learned all the steps, even the, the new one. Y'all got run, learned all the stuff. Right, so then, right. so he, so he, and never, and never. So then we sitting there, I go to his mom's house and I'm watching daddy. Yeah, Cole, you got to do this this way, do this this way. I put him on Instagram stuff. Yeah. So then, I say, I say, so he said, hey, Dad, who named me when I was born? I said, do you named after me? He said, why you didn't name me Michael Bibby? <laughs> <laughs> Is this because you so mad at him? I can't be mad. Is this, is this, is this so a beef conversation? So, 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 you know, so, 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 I'm trying to figure out where the story goes. Yeah, and then, and then he, he saw, he way, saw you. Yeah. He saw you. He said, "Yeah, right. like, yeah. Right. you know, I couldn't be mad." At least it went future. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like me. I love it. I love it. But you know, you get that now. You got all these. You got it's literally your concert. I hate to do the old the eight to eighty. When you go to a concert, you got from young kids to everybody that grew up on you, and plus. That has to be crazy to see that. And then, man, y'all steps still on point. Yeah, you, still man. on point. I, I just think that I, I keep saying it, man. You, you just can't run from the real. Right? Mm. You know, we, we've been here since Clyde's night and Rick James was smoking blunts on stage. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Okay. So, not Gladys we, Knight. No, not Gladys Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we knew what he meant. They knew what he meant. Right. It would have been cool if Gladys was. Though. Right. I mean, I and, was. And, when, <laughs> and when Grandmaster Flash was the hottest ticket. Yeah. So we done lived through Dougie. We done lived through the Bad Boy Death Row. We done wow. lived through everything. And hip-hop has taken the industry to a point where R and B has kind of switched seats a little bit, mm. so the only thing that keeps it going for the millennials is what we doing was the movie. It was a generation gear shift for three nights. Yep. Yeah, we didn't we didn't just think about hip hop, which hip hop to me ain't nothing but a lifestyle. It ain't just the music. It was in you or not. Yes, it's sir. a swagger. You got it. You don't. But when they saw the movie, every rapper. With a gangster parental um, advisory sticker, had their kids in their car rocking the candy bar. You're right. And no you're one right. tried to be cool, right? You're right, you're right. The gang was in there smiling, right? <laughs> yeah, they eating it. pizza or whatever at the right. restaurant. So it goes to show you that sometimes, man, it's a little bit of history and a little bit of memory mm -hmm. will make the future go right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's all they yeah. did. They just, right, bro? Yeah, they just went true. backwards a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, it, it just really extended the longevity of what we're able to show people. You know, our gift, our God blessed us to be entertainers and performers and to know that, you know, it's not going to die with, let's say, the 50-year-old. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to last a little bit that's longer right. because you got the three and the four-year-olds that are into <laughs> New Edition and BBD and everybody yeah. else. And not only is it influencing the younger generation, you know, and we're seeing that at the Belle Bib DeVoe concerts from, you know, back in January when we jumped our first joint off after the movie. You right. see one or two in the audience to now, you know, I mean, it's hundreds of kids in the audience, right, you right, know, along right. with their parents and all of the above. But it also influenced a lot of R&B groups that were bickering and, you know, like just beefing with each other, you know, groups like Escape, groups like 112. Oh, you sure and, right. Let's get know, back together again. You sure all right. Yeah. 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 So they back I mean, on the road because of y'all guys. Right. To know that our story not only influenced, you know, people outside of the music industry, but people that are inside the music industry that rightfully so should be on stage performing, True. you know, classic hits, True. classic material. And, you know, we looking forward to this this Budweiser Superfest type of tour that we gonna go out on. You know, sometimes are they gonna mix summer. up all of y'all, all the kids that were in the movie? Mm. And y'all, I don't know if that's a rumor. Y'all just mm. talking about it. If it gonna happen, yeah. I've heard the rumor that. Okay, yeah. oh, I never even asked that question. Uh -huh. Let me ask you this though: Have who? What name other artists that have come to y'all that y'all probably like? Hey, 
what's his name is asking me for advice or I can't believe that such and such has been jamming da 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 da. There's nah. been some surprise artists for y'all. Like I, I really, wish I could say who called, but yeah. I don't want to mess up exactly. their surprise. You, really you wanna, it yeah. would be the yeah. furthest shit from your possibility yeah. of thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Blew your mind when they called you. Right. Yeah. Listen, but it's wild because yeah, we that's the perfect about, word for it too. Say, yeah, we're not wow. gonna say. But after, after the movie, you know, and the success of it, you know, we had conversations about who's up next because, you know, we see um, we think, right. straight out of Compton, you know, right, and that right, kind of right. made us feel like, okay, we got to dig deep and make sure our story is presented on a level like this. Like, that's blockbuster. They did it right. Dre mm -hmm. Cube. And um, we felt like, Gary. who's up next? Yeah, Gary, who's up next? So we started having those conversations and... Those calls came in, you yep. know, the our uh, top the, our yep, top, top five lists. Yep. You know, damn near everybody called oh, us. Yep. You know, <laughs> or called one of us. You yeah. Know? And yeah, yeah. So And we'll give we'll give you a hint. And it wasn't R and B. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's right. That's yeah. right. It wasn't R and B. You'll see. It it's came coming. way over there, so yeah. <laughs> Y'all saying like y'all might be doing something with this particular. I will leave that. I will leave that there. I'll, here, this is from the bottom of my heart. One, I appreciate what you guys are doing for the city and giving back because this is something that brothers don't have to do. Two, I appreciate you being the musical landscape of my childhood and adulthood. Right. And to be able to have reference to somebody that was there when I was there and saw what I saw and still be here is really exciting for me. So I, I want to just thank you for being that musical landscape for me when I was having bad days and, and, and good days. Or I had the girlfriend who was tripping on one of y'all or something like that. Like, hey, he ain't that fine. He, that fine. <laughs> he just sing or something like that. Right. But right. I appreciate all those memories. When I see y'all... All those memories, just shoo, 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 they start right. shooting back. You remember the little girl's right. name you was messing with, the right. one who said who liked who and everything. Right. I hate you, Ronnie. And uh, <laughs> you know, but no, nah, although cool, I, I appreciate all of y'all so no much. Doubt, Nothing man. but love and thank y'all for Thanks, what y'all did for the Thanks, industry man. as well. I have thank one question for you. Oh, go ahead. Are there any like new R and B artists that y'all see that y'all are looking out for that y'all are rocking with? Okay, that's a good question. You mean that's out right now, yes. or that we're trying to that are that are already out now? Wow, man, there's not a lot. Right. What? Like, no? no? You, you, oh, okay, not groups. groups. Like, yeah, they don't even do the And why do y'all think there's not like, <laughs> That's old girls. Wow. Yeah, why yeah, are there not a lot one, of groups? One girl sold, um, she beat us out for number one. What was, was that, Kalani? Name? Yeah, yeah Kalani. Yeah, nice. We I had no like choice it. but to like her. Uh, yeah. yeah. She got us good. I um, like Kalani. I like Seven. Sweeter, I like, yeah, uh, yeah. who else? Man. Of course, Bruno Mars. It's yeah, amazing. he's been killing the game. Yeah, like I think young? it's just yeah, yeah, it's just hard. It's, mm, it's yeah. not even really out there. Like so many people are influenced by the hip hop culture yeah. now. That yeah. it's like if you could sing before, you don't want to sing anymore. You just right. want to go left. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so it's even hard to define it as R and D. Yeah, and then yeah. financially, as far as groups are concerned, you know, it's just not feasible. So y'all think like, that's why you don't see groups think, like y'all yeah, no more? Yeah, record exactly. labels are not really making the money they used to be able yeah. to make for yeah, no a record. Yeah, 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 it's right. like, okay, as opposed to me moving five around, let me pick the best one out of the bunch and yeah. just, you know, put yeah. something into them. You know what the real, the, the real BS is to answer the question, why mm -hmm. we couldn't answer? You know what a record label tells some 12 and 13-year-olds? Um... You got to go get a lot of followers yeah. for us to sign you. Right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes you got to break an artist to help people see who they are because sometimes you have to have an eye for talent and it needs a true. platform. Right. And then some radio stations say, well, their music is too young for our audience. So that means if they're not on Disney, they can't get on this station, then how do they ever be heard? Mm. So you figure... Somewhere it got to give, because if there was a lane for it to be heard and a lane for it to be signed, we'd probably be able to answer that three or four times over. Mm -hmm. So it's not that we don't know. They just sometimes just don't sign them so mm -hmm. we could see, because you probably know somebody in your hood that probably feel mm -hmm. like they should have a deal. Right. Right. But they probably got to go way down the block, over the highway, and come back down <laughs> mm -hmm. here and <laughs> get a lot of followers. Yeah, and a lot of followers. <laughs> then they can sign them. Do y'all right. think that groups will ever come back in general, like R&B groups? I think they will. I think, I honestly believe they will. I think um, with New Edition, what we 
um, been doing and been introduced to the whole new generation. I think the um, the desire for the t the entertain because it's very entertaining, you know, to have a group. And you know, when we were young, we gave the girls something to come and like. And and I think that lane is still wide open, but you know, it just hasn't been discovered yet. Yeah. So and all it takes is one, and then you have a bunch of them coming after that. They need to so, pour some more money back into R and B because you see it on the pop side with right. the One Directions and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like they're taking that money you know, from the R and B world and dropping it over there on the pop side just to, you know, allow that to flourish. Yeah. But I think at some point, you know, we might have to go on ahead and put a couple, two or three youngsters in the headlock and put them on the world stage. Exactly. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Bill Biv DeVoe, man. Yeah. Thank so you all so much. So that's man. that's exactly. So that's now. Nah. <laughs> I'm Bell. I'm Bev. I'm DeVoe. That's right. Now, now you, you know. know. <laughs> <laughs>